But yeah, um, lads and ladies around the world, um, me forever as in here, and we are back, uh, for another Fallout session. And yeah, as you may have seen in the latest uploads, um, we've uh, discovered um intel's about project purity and our dad, and um. He went to Vault 112, and we are on the bridge of um, well, entering this uh, certain vault. Um, I wanted to do the Rift Landing, I think it, was, it is a DLC or something. And, um, the only problem is that it really costs too much, like 400 caps in a... Uh, well... 500 caps and this just a ticket 100 caps is just a cost for a ticket to go with the child not even come back <laughs> safely so yeah that's something uh in terms of um, overall uh items that i can, i mean can show you well i have a lot of ammo i mean a lot a bit of a statement yeah uh, also, I have the bubble head of intelligence and the bubble head of medicine. So these two are different. Um, bobby pins. I've heard of steel holds. I don't know what they're going to be used for. Um, still have some metro tickets. For birch proof me. With pass card. Stuff like that. As for my uh, aid. Well, Fight that. Let's say that. My apparels. I have this uh, dreamy pre war business fair that I find, found in Rift City. Give me speech plus five. So that with the ancient hat gives me plus ten each. So I need to scroll that. As for my weapon, well, and military pistol, main gun, assault rifle. I need assault rifle now. Full bat, shotgun, bat mat, flamer, rifle. I'm using that a lot. Uh, laser rifle, purple grenade, ripper, sealed off shotgun, and magnum. As for my stats, up oh, here. Doesn't seem like I'm in trouble. Status effect. Special uh, intelligence uh, on this here. As for my skills, not too bad. There could be, but there could be better. Say that. As for my speed, well, can't wait to get to the next level. My perks, educated gun, killer, scoundrel, and scoundrel. And I'm still a range of the wastes, though I killed 37 people. I saved some people. Is that? So, yeah, as you may see here, we have to gain access to Vault 112, and we are on the brink of doing so. As for the literal flavor, so as I said, Riverboat Landing DLC. Um, I I'd like to set you a passage to Point Lurchow, but costs too much. Also, into the pit. I have to. If I. Is it, where does that. Oh, yeah. Well, that's far. Really far. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, at least um, we're doing that now, so that's great. But yeah, lads and ladies around the world, um, if you enjoy my playthrough, Fallout Three, uh, game, if uh, well, you know what to do. 
just leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're brand, if you're brand new, sorry. Also, activate the notification bell so you never miss a video upload from me in the future. And yeah, I'm over at twitch.tv forward slash forever as in rambling, unedited, live, whatever you want. <laughs> uh, well, live on Twitch, so make sure to come by and say hello as uh, we're going to uncover some more of that Fallout franchise. And I might even dabble into Resident Evil franchise as well. That remains to be. So, if you want to well, recommend games that you would like me to play and react upon, or even some videos, re video reactions of some kind, then uh, you know what to do. Uh, also, that in the comment section down below. But without further ado, and without my rambling out of the way, I guess it's time to end Vault 112. And there we are. <laughs> Vault 112. Well, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Um, did I? Don't you think? Don't think that I'm not going to get. A hunting rifle ready in in, ca in case there's something bad out there. Here. First of all, no one welcoming me. It's sketchy. I go inside? Hmm. I don't know. At the very least, Alan Mertz is not going to attack me here, so. Plus. Oops. Your green dot, so it's all right. Hello, what are you? Uh, 
I'm going to get my apparel because you know. To Vault 112, resident. According to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Please redress in your Vault Tech issued Vault suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned Tranquility Lounger. Please find the nearest tranquility lounger and be seated. Put on a vault well on twelve suit. Okay. You want. It's in the unoccupied tranquility lounger. Please take a seat in the tranquility lounger. Please find the nearest Tranquility Lounger and be seated. Where is the Tranquility Lounger? Where's the Tranquility Lounger? Lounger monitor object E nose bomb. What's going on here? What's the experiment here? Uh, play, wait, Asian play resident status. We'll see. And huh? respiratory rate, next rest level. I'm an old. Okay. T. Must bomb. Bomb. In status. O B M. Okay. Stress level. Oh. Uh. J. Rockwell. In status. Elevated. Oh. R. Rockwell. It's it again. Goes here. Right. E. Di divis. Divis. EP. Error. Warning. Anomaly detected. Rest level. Green. Warning. Resident requires medical attention. Here. 
Player President status. Warning, possible program corruption unable to verify ID, please help a supervisor. S level elevated. Right. Subject, M. Henderson. Okay. Best level? I'm not. Okay. Why are they in. Ah, oh, Simpson. Ah. Uh. What happened? Elevated. A W Foster. Uh, a okay. press level nominal. All right. What is it going on? Wait. Okay. This is. Um, so, from my think, didn't sit in the unoccupied tranquility lounger. Should I take this one? Or uh, this one? Wait, what am I sitting next to? Oh, um, this is it not fire? Okay. What's what's his best level? Oh, okay. About Simpson. Elevated. Okay. And if I go here. R. Rockwell. Best level L. This one. Uh, Dithers. Best level stream. Tranquility. Well, level eight. Quiet. So, um, that's wait. <laughs> Three, four, five, six. Five in science. Uh, it's not five in science, it's four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, good. Uh, after that, uh, I'm going to be strong back. I need to carry more equipment. Let's see. So. Okay, well, thanks for the intel. Wait, wait. Wait. Hey there, sport. Oh. Beautiful day, isn't it? Say, you should go talk to Betty. Yeah. She's waiting for you over on the playground. Have fun, sport. Why am I... Am I tiny? Oh, I'm just sitting on the bench. Oh, I see. What can I do for you, sport? Uh, where uh, am I? <laughs> Such a kidder. You're on Tranquility Lane, of course. 
Where else would you be? Um, have you seen my dad? Nope, afraid not. Don't you worry about it, though. You'll find him. Um, didn't tell me about the neighborhood. You mean besides how wonderful it is to live here? Everyone's very friendly, even old lady dithers, though she's lost most of her marbles. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, what? Some kind of computer simulation? Sounds like you've been spending too much time with your nose in those darned comic books, sport. Nice day, isn't it? Of course it is. It's America, isn't it? I have to go now. Take care now. Okay. Wait, wait. What? Sorry? <laughs> Of course I won't have my pit boy here. Even open the mailbox. Find dad. Yes, I know. Dodge? Good daddy. Even though it's, uh, you know, simulated and whatnot. Who's that? Let's see. Okay, well, before I do that, I'm going to look around. Hurts. Hiya. Timmy. Hi there. I'm Timmy. Want to play? Uh, uh, have you seen my dad? Your dad? Nope, I haven't. Did he get lost? Yeah, I think. But what can you tell me about the neighborhood? It's okay, I guess. I don't really have nobody to play with, except for Betty. And she's kind of, well, she's mean. Well, uh, none of, none of this is real, right? It's some adult some experiment. What? You're weird. I have to go now. Bye-bye. <laughs> He's going to talk to his, his father. Hello? Right. Dad? I encountered this weird guy. I mean, my kid, but it's a guy as well. What's that? Some kind of crazy experiment? Hello. Oh, Bill Foster. Hiya, kiddo. What's the good word? Um, have you seen my dad? Can't say that I have, kiddo. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll turn up. What? What can you tell me about, about the neighborhood? Nice place. Real nice. Everyone's friendly and always happy to lend a hand. Okay. Nice day, isn't it? Yep. You've got that right. Heck of a day to get some work done outdoors. Huh. <laughs> this is... A Pretty convincing simulation, isn't it? Is that so? Well, you ought to tell that to my big toe, kiddo. Hurts like the dickens since I stubbed it earlier today. Feels pretty real to me. <laughs> well, I have to go now. Have a great day!
In Vault 101 was the Overseer. Cultivating sort of uh, doctrine or even, um, I don't know, either doctrine or a, yeah, cult. What now? Here. Everyone isn't, isn't this simulated, simulated universe? Yeah, everyone is in this uh, kind of simulated universe, and um, seems to be, I don't know, lost. It's this. Why, why am I chid? <laughs> it's been a while since I've been 19. I'm playing Fallout 3 right now. And I'm, uh... I'm having some... <laughs> anxiety breaks right now. With the fact that I'm in a dissimulated universe. Or whatnot. I'm a chid. Although I'm a man. <laughs> Hello. What's going on here? Janet Rockwell. Good day to you. Uh, okay, uh, well, uh, have you, uh, seen my dad? Uh, Fallout 3. Fallout 3. Game of the year. Have you played it? Have you seen my dad? Your dad? No, I haven't. Your... I'm sure he's around here somewhere. What can you tell me about the neighborhood, Janet? Roger suggested we move here. I don't quite remember when that was. It's very nice. We're doing quite well. Yeah, I'm losing my marbles right now. None of this is real. It's all some, some, some sort of crazy experiment. Oh, you're such a kidder. But you I'm, I'm a kid? I'm just, I'm such... <laughs> I, I have to go now. Have so, a great sorry, day. Janice, for talking to you. Nice day. Um, yeah, everyone here is in limbo. Like, looks like they're all in limbo. And, uh, when I looked at, I looked at their, um, overall, uh, status, in the real world, oh, in the vault, they were, I don't know. Some had some anxiety levels that needed, um, how should I say this? Treatment? But... Well, I have to talk to Betty. I know that. But uh, I'm going to look around first. I mean, I've already looked around, but... I don't know if you can enter doors. Door to Henderson residence. The doors. <laughs> enter inside of homes. But yeah, uh, Kristen, I hope you're doing alright. Um... I hope that your days is doing well as well. Uh try my best to, to not uh go to abandoned house. My own. <laughs> Why is it abandoned? It's like these doors I mean these houses are in a circle just like they were just like they were in um, real world in their pods uh what's what what's that again tranquility something remember all right betty oh someone new to play with what good luck i have lately i was just starting to get bored oh we're going to have so much fun <laughs> You're just starting to get bored. I understand. I uh, you are. I'm Betty. I live here on Tranquility Lane. Want to play a game? Uh, I don't know. Should I play games with you? <clears throat> I didn't speak to Betty. The hell's going on here? We're 
we're going to play a game now, silly. That's what's going on. Mm, yeah. Yes. Uh. Looking for my father. Have you seen him? Gee, I don't know. What's he like? Um. The scientist. And for Dr. Brown. Brown. <laughs> That's your daddy? Oh, we're going to have so much fun. This is going to be the best game ever. Name? Okay, I guess. I knew you would. I mean, it's a really simple game. All you have to do is make okay. Peter's bum cry. Um, why did I do that? He's the only other kid that lives here besides you. He's a big crybaby. You'll see. Make him cry, and then come back here so we can talk some more. Why do... So, um... Where is he? Is there a way to make someone cry in this, uh, simulated universe? Should I enter by their home, or is it like some reach of uh, of privacy? I mean, it's, it's all simulated, so it's, it seems like some really high-tech simulated universe, something. So if that is a planet, you oh, you oh. don't belong here. You're not supposed to be here. It's not real. None of it. It needs to end. The suffering must end. <laughs> Get away from me! Get away from me! You crazy old bat! I mean. I don't know about that. She seems like she's the one making the most sense out here. Finally, someone who knows what's going on. How do I get out of here? We're not really here. We're not really talking. It's all made up. Make believe. We're sleeping, dreaming. The dream became a nightmare. It has to end. It just has to. But we're not in charge. He is. And he doesn't want us to wake up. You're crazy, get away from me. Who are you talking about? He calls himself Betty now, but he's still the same. He can put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. Braun. Bastard thinks because he helped create this place, he's God here. But I know he still uses the fail-safe terminal. I know it. How come you're the only one who seems to know this? Don't know. Can't sleep sometimes. Hear voices. My own skin doesn't feel right. None of this is right. You've got to believe me. You've got to find that failsafe. What failsafe? What the hell are you talking about? It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it. It's... 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 Excuse me? Betty? You're... Dr. Brown? 
And when I told her, but I mean, told him now, I know. When I told him about my father, I mean, our father, just laughed. Hmm. Yeah, he just laughed. Have you got You're supposed to be making Timmy cry. You can do it. I know you can. When you win the game, maybe we can talk some more. Okay. Um, who are you? Don't you worry about that. You just go have fun with Timmy. Okay, and um, you know, I really want to know who you are. But uh, it doesn't seem like you want me to find out. So, um, yeah. What about this place? Maybe later. First, I want to see how you get along with Timmy. Get along? You just want me to... Just want me to make him cry for no reason. And what am I supposed to be doing again? You need to go find Timmy Newsbum and make him cry. It'll be funny. You'll see. Do that, you're so evil. Run along now. No. Who is... to residence to news uh news news bone residence why i have to obey her orders good day oh good day to you uh is it my dad no sweetie i have it I'm sure he'll come looking for you before long, though. Uh, what can you tell me about the neighborhood? Well, George and I have been here. Why, as long as I can remember. Huh? And tell me about uh, the news, 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 news. I don't know. I don't know how to spell that. I mean, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, news bomb. Timmy? Oh, he's a good boy. George and I are so proud of him. I don't care what Mabel says. I don't think military school would do him any good at all. I have half a mind to give her that brochure back and tell her just what she can do with it. <laughs> okay. Do now. Take care now. Yeah, but, uh, you know, Hiya. Timmy. Hi. Want to play? Should I obey Betty or should I make him cry? Am I the guy or am I not? I don't know. I do not know. I'd like to say that uh, for the sake of the plot, I have to work on that and say that yes. Doesn't sit right with me. Mostly because we are in, a, we are in this uh, hypersensitive simulated universe created by Dr. Braun in this Vault 112. I don't know. 
Yeah. I don't know. Which is, for, it's, for instance, if I ever say that to a child like him in a and he's, he's causing himself to go suicidal because of me? I really want to know more about my father. I mean, I, I have the necessary... Uh, Speech says speech. speech percentage to make him cry. That's not the point. The point is making the right choice. Okay, well. Um But he says I should make you cry. What? No, she didn't. Did she? I don't like her. She's creepy. And she laughs at stuff that isn't funny. Bye to me. See you later. Yeah. Imagine if even the dog is one of the persons, I mean, one of the people in the Tranquility Trap Capsules. You're supposed to be making Timmy cry. You can do it. I know you can. When you win the game, maybe we can talk some more. Where is my father? Oh, don't worry about that now. There are things to do. To do now. Tell Timmy I said hi. You're so crazy. Evil. Zero rats? Each me. Oh, fate, right? Play? Hey, even though I don't want to, I heard uh, your parents are getting uh, divorced because of you. You're a big dumb liar. Yeah. No. Hi. Want to play? Have a great day. Wait, wait. What? Big dumb liar. So even like that, and get my speech out. Yeah, but uh, not so. Want me to do? All replicated means that uh,
and well in the real world um well oh hello and, Use this now. Off. Close. Right. The Henderson Estate is in. You know what would be crazy? It would be crazy if all of these uh, robots, guards, people that live here aren't what Good they are day. in real life. Just another. They just have another face, another character, another design. What is this experiment? Arthur? Well, hi there. Have you seen my dad? I don't think so. But then I haven't really been looking for him. Sorry. Okay. Uh, what can you tell me about the neighborhood? I like it well enough, I suppose. Mabel is good company most of the time, and, well, the other neighbors are mostly very nice. Okay. Um, what can you tell me about uh, Timmy News? That boy is trouble, if you ask me. Pat babies him like you wouldn't believe. Acts like he's still an infant. He's never out of his parents' sight. Can you imagine what it'll be like the first time he's separated from them? Yeah. I guess. I suppose. I hadn't really noticed. What's I doing now? Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh. All well, these houses are reputed to the T. Good day. Seems like. How are you today? Oh. Mabel. Well, hi there. Have you seen my dad? No, I haven't. But when I do, I'll tell him you're looking for him. Sure, thanks. Uh, what can you tell me about the neighborhood? Well, there's certainly never a dull moment. I think it's like any other street, really. Always something to see and always something to talk about. What can you tell me about the uh, Timmy Newsbomb? I'm not one to gossip, but that boy's in trouble, if you ask me. Growing up so attached to his parents like that. What he needs is some discipline. I keep telling Pat that military school would do him some good. But she won't listen. She doesn't understand I'm just trying to help. Even got a brochure for her to look over. But I'll bet she hasn't even glanced at it. Alright. Well, I have to do now, anyway. Bye-bye! Bye bye. Um. DC. Underwear. Bed. Why should I do that? Hey, Rob. Hey there, sport. How's it going? Roger? Hey, have you seen my dad? He disappeared on you, huh? 
Don't worry, I'm sure you'll find him soon. Yeah. Um, what can you tell me about the neighborhood? Heck of a place to live. Janet and I, well, we're quite happy here. Yeah. None of this is real. It's still some crazy experiment, right? Sure, sport. Whatever you say. <laughs> I have to do it now. Take care now. Yeah. I think I will. But, uh... I'm just going to go inside your house. Do what I do best. Explore, because, you know... Time to... I'll use this now. Good day. Yeah. Good day. Hello. This is good day to you. Pretty convincing simulation, right? What? Oh, sweetie. Maybe you should just run along and play. I I have to do now. Take care now. Take care, take care. Where? Watch where you're swinging that, will you? Where are you, Timmy? Are you inside, Timmy? Good day. Hey there, sport. How's it going? You didn't tell me about Timmy Newsbaum. My boy, Timmy? Good kid. Straight laced, good head on his shoulders. Never been in so much as a fist fight. We're a close knit family. Don't know what any of us would do if something happened. Yeah. Take care now. So, I saw inside of the uh, Rockwell residence, the basement. I think that's important. Seems that Rockwells are. Hello. Are well. Agreements. Let's see. Military school brochure. This brochure promotes the Hoffman Training Academy. The tagline: Turning the delinquents today into the leaders of tomorrow. Okay, was that important? May? Here, so. Okay. Hide. Hi, wanna play? Hey, look what I found. You're getting sent to military school. What? No, I'm not. Look, I've got the brochure right here. You're doing, pal. But, but I don't want to go away. I don't want to leave my mommy. <laughs> See? See, I was trauma. Just a few. Hmm. Yay, you did it. Good job. <laughs> a clever approach. I'm not sure I would have considered it. Very encouraging. Your reward for winning the game is to ask a single question. I will answer honestly and frankly. I know who he is. I know what is this place. I know what this place is. I want to know where my father is.
I'm not playing any more of your games. No? Then I'm afraid you'll never be leaving. I decide when you may leave. And unless you start cooperating, you're going to have a very long stay here on Tranquility Lane. You think? Are we willing to be reasonable now? I ask so very little of you. No, I said I wouldn't do it, and I mean it. Well then, we have little else to say to one another. Oh yeah? Well, uh... Bye -bye. Where did he go? Inside or what? Good day. I'm sorry, Timmy. I didn't want to do this. I want answers. Where are you, Timmy? Oh, I think it was the Rockwells that had a um, basement. Listen. Good day. What's going on? Sure is a beautiful day today. Bye. Good day. Yeah. Hi. Uh. Where did Timmy go? Hello. Hello. Where's the underwear on the desk? Sorry, Timmy. What's the big idea? I'm sorry. Good day. Okay. Um. Are we willing to be reasonable now? I ask so very little of you. Really have a choice, do I? There is always a choice. Sometimes it's just easier to make. Well then, we have little else to say to one another. Oh yeah. I know where I'm going. But I don't know it. Where is Timmy? Not what I, where I want to go. Um, this is the abandoned house, right?
Good day to you. Not even a little bye bit, bye. Uh, you know. Um... Trying to you know and where the sun went. I'm awful sometimes. the abandoned house right so if that is the abandoned house what then am i supposed to do Something else? Activate? Oh. See that. Okay. okay. Hmm. Two. Three. Four. What else is there? No. Oh. Radio. Last picture. Last picture. In the block. Did it? Um. Auxiliary command terminal. Please consult the supervisor before proceeding. Um. Doctor Brown Entry Yu Chan Ladoon. I finally come to the realization that the Tu Chan Ladoon simulation has run its course. 
I'm tired of the beating sun and ceaseless pounding the lagoon's waves upon the shore. I no wonder take pleasure in watching Simpson wither away from scurvy or hearing news bombs screams as he's devoured by the macro shard. I'm quite simply bored. It is time to reset the simulation. I haven't been seen in ages. Okay, so uh, slalom chalet. Yesterday, Ithers slipped on the chalet's icy stairs, went airborne, and managed to impel herself on the wrought iron fence. It was spectacular, and completely and utterly random. Is there anything more sublime than that bold crimson on fresh fallen snow? It was almost enough to make me reconsider a change of scenery, not quite. Yours is a long enough vacation in the sweeps Alps. I longed for something more domestic. So something more domestic. Tranquility Lane. That is domestic. I have surprised myself. I find Tranquility Lane in 14. Although distinctly American, it somehow reminds me of Fronach, the town of my childhood. There's a beautiful irony in this particular simulation as well. The residents here are naturally at home, naturally safe. When I toy with them, and their suburban illusion is suddenly broken, it's that much more it that much more satisfying. I do believe we shall all remain here in Tranquility Lane for a very long time. A very long time indeed. Um, access Chinese Invasion Program. Dr. Braun Entry. They'll see. There are days I consider finally pulling the plug, as it were, and putting a permanent end to both this simulation and my life. That is the reason I requested installation of General Ace's Chinese Invasion Program. After all, by disabling the safety protocols, I have ensured that each subject. Each. Wait, wait. By disabling the safety protocols, I have ensured that each. Subject in Vault 112 will physically die if their in simulation avatars are killed. Real world death. End of simulation. A perfect fail safe. At least it would have been, if not for my own misjudgment. I knew when the simulation first went online that the secondary self safeties that those established, all Vault Tech and military personnel would prevent my own real-world demise in the event of a fail-safe fail execution. In the end, I would chill the subjects and save myself. I wouldn't want it any other way, so I thought. It's true the fail-safe would scare the living hell out of every resident in Tranquility Lane, lead to their brutal deaths, but then, what about me? I have no ability to disable my own safety from within the simulator, and any other avatars to create would be driven by the simulation's AI routines of actual living, thinking human subjects. Where's the fun in tormenting a machine? And so, the release of the real world subjects is more than they deserve, more than I could bear. To be dead, to be left here in Tranquility Lane, alone and tragically bored for all eternity. I think there are nothing more unacceptable. Failsafe program. Document. Dr. Braun, here is the revised code for the military training program you've expressed its interest in. Not sure exactly what you want with it. I again stress that uh, this program was never designed to run with civilian equipment. Currently, I don't expect any system you have access to can run it. If you run this program with the 
fail saves off. Requested, your real world test subjects will die for building suspicion. It goes without saying that officially I denied your request. General Constantine Chase, US military training program. Purpose Stimulate a communist version on US soil. Communication cold new protocols enacted. Label safety protocols one six override target acquisition. Warning. Let's such as will experience real world determination. Proceed with the extreme caution. Back. Access version control. Play previous version notes. As one twelve, new program tranquility lane loaded. Rization as brown. It's and twelve all previous versions wiped. Authorization is brown. Wow. Play current version control. Uh, version 3.2.005 Exceptions granted for pod 001 Annual override for pods disabled Annual override Mode access allowed uh, User and brand has privileges Updated neural inputs to override memory access for individual Revised code for vault and maintenance robots Authentication from S Brown required before further updates allowed. User unknown grant that set. The unknown altered by S Brown. The unknown. The only thing I can do is Chinese invasion program. This is fail safe. But that would kill every resident in, in the pods, the real world as well. Are we willing to be reasonable now? I ask so very little of you. I don't really have a choice, do there I? There is always a choice. Sometimes it's just easier to make. What do you want me to do? Pay a visit to the Rockwells. They're very happily married. And I'd like you to change that. Put an end to their marriage. And we'll talk. No, I won't do that to them. Then I'm afraid we have nothing more to say to one another. <laughs> so, basically what you want is for me to be, um... Good day. Well, hi there. Not notice that your day. son is nowhere to be seen. There. I 
energy. Remember what I told you. The failsafe. You've got to find it. Went into the abandoned house, but I didn't see anything. Nothing in that house, you're lying or crazy or both. Did you say the failsafe was? The abandoned house keeps that one to himself, he does. That's where it is. That's why he doesn't want us in there. Yeah, but I, I need answers, and I don't know if doing this failsafe is going to give me answers. So, um, I'm afraid I have no choice but to do what I'm supposed to do. Janet Rockwell. Good day oh, to you. Abel Henderson, I don't want to Take talk care to now. you. Are you running back to your place? Good day to you. Yeah, he doesn't. You don't seem to realize Take that your now. son is not there anymore. Hey. Good day. Well, hi there. Eh, better come down to the basement. There's something you need to see. What were you doing in our basement? What's down there? Just trust me. It's important. Okay, if you say so. this women's clothing down here what what the hell is this it's not yours oops what is this doing here maybe it's his you know for heroin no looting oh my god roger he wouldn't, but... Hello. Yeah. Good day. Answer. Then now. Are we willing to be reasonable now? I ask so very little of you. Fine. I'm glad you've chosen to be cooperative. Just get this over with. I'm glad you've chosen to see reason. Again, I present you with a simple little job. The Rockwells have a seemingly happy marriage. I'd like you to put an end to it. The only caveat is that you may not kill either of them in the process. I look forward to seeing what you're capable of. Fine, but it's only because I want more. Rationalize it any way you'd like. If you succeed, we'll continue our discussion. Again. So great. I love I, I really like losing karma. You have turned out to be quite resourceful, it seems. I am 
slightly impressed. I enjoy your company far more than your father's. He responded quite negatively to my requests. I did what you wanted. We have something to do. You have amused me thus far, but I still don't think you're quite in a position to be demanding anything. Still, I suppose you've earned the right to some further answers. What would you ask of me? What did my father want from you? Where's my father now? He's here, and he is unharmed. He has merely been rendered unable to bother me. I want to see him, where is he? If you continue to behave and do as I ask, I may be willing to release both of you. But first, you have work to do. Attempting to maintain the illusion of control, are we? How quaint. Very well. I'd like you to kill Mabel Henderson. Do something unique, something unexpected. Surprise me. I won't do that. Still, you resist me. When you know that I have the answers you seek. Well, I am not going to beg you. You know what I ask of you, and so you know what you must do to retain my favor. What have you done with my father? Have you met Doc the dog? He's another new arrival, much like yourself. He might seem a bit <laughs> familiar to you, huh? Who are you? If you insist on an answer, then you may better know me as Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I've chosen a different appearance for myself here, in my own little playground. Run along now! I should go now. Go. Oh. I found my father, it seems. Dad, that really you? I have to end this madness right now. Before it's too late. And before I lose even more trauma. Fail safe will be activated. Initiate Chinese invasion. Fail safe. what you've done you've triggered the failsafe ruined everything the subjects will die and i'll be stuck here in this hell alone you ruined everything everything These people out there misery, getting exactly what you deserve. You've taken them all from me! You've left me with nothing! It's not fair. Nobody to play with ever again. 
Ja, man, war das jetzt. Son, you've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped yeah. in there forever. It's so good to see you, but but what are you doing here? <clears throat> what are you doing here? Oh. What are you doing here? You should have been killed. Well, I didn't expect Dr. Braun to be alive and insane. I thought I'd just find notes or holotapes. I needed information about Braun and his work on the Gek. <clears throat> well, um, did you get information you needed? I did indeed. Braun's work, the Gek, was designed to readapt environments for living after a nuclear war. It's not entirely stable, but I'm sure the components of that technology are just what we need, what we've been missing all this time. I need to return to Rivet City. Once Madison knows about the Gek, I can get her to see that it really will work. go back to Rivet City? I can't do this on my own. Madison, Dr. Lee has a team of scientists working at Rivet City. They'll have to help. The facility hasn't been used in years. There'll be enough work for a good number of people, and it will take us a while. The sooner I get to Rivet City, the sooner Madison and I can get to work. What about me? What am I supposed to do? Yes, what about you? Why in fact are you outside the vault at all? I don't even want to know how you got out. As much as I appreciate your help, you were supposed to stay there, to make a life for yourself there, not out here. You left me with, there without saying goodbye. What, what was I supposed to do? You were supposed to stay put. You could have had a good life in the vault. But I suppose it's too late to go back now, isn't it? The Overseer would likely have a shot on sight. Well then, you'll just have to come with me to Rivet City. You've certainly proven yourself capable enough. Okay, let's head to River City. That's my boy. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. Great. So, I was here last time. 